Hi, welcome to the version 0.3 Avoid Gameplay Tutorial. So now when you start the game, you get to this screen where you can create a game, just play single player or cooperative play over the local area network at the moment. You can join an already existing server um, on your local area network. You can go to the voxel editor that we've had before and you can set your options up or exit. So I'm going to create a game and I'm going to set the server to on and I'm going to check that my player display name is set. So Juliet can now join in as the game is online. I'll generate a world. It's usually best to, to actually click the generate world button if you're using one of these. I'm going to just generate another one. That's an interesting shape. We'll go with that I think. If you generate the world before going into the game um, and you have people join you at that point then you can actually get them to load the world before you actually start gameplay which is which is the best although it does stream load the world in so it should be all right to join in the middle of a game as well so i'm going to start the game and once we kick on play we're in the game world and there you can see juliet she's on the surface and flying around so i'm going to reattach myself to this uh, surface here and now we're going to head off to try and find the enemy. So on the other side there, I can see a drone spawner. The movement has been simplified slightly from the previous movement prototype. When you jump into the air and fly, you're just in a flight mode. So you can't use the momentum less movement mode, what you have on the ground where you can, here I can shift light, left and right rapidly. You can't do that when you're flying. When you're flying you have momentum and basically you can change direction but only very slowly. However you can accelerate, decelerate in, in the air and strafe as on the ground. Okay, I'm going to try and reattach myself. Control is both crouch and reattachment so I can crouch a little bit oh too many here trying to talk and fight at the same time is tough right the idea is we're going to try and take down that drone spawner that scores the most points okay I'm going for it now I'm going to move over towards Juliet so that if we get attacked we can defend ourselves against them better Okay, we're heading towards it. Moving over to the other side. And as it gets low health, it starts spawning more and more drones, doubling the number of drones that there are in the world from that particular creature. So we're gonna try and remove those before we go on to attacking the next drone spawner. If you hide, then uh, you can evade them or you can just uh, try and juke it out using skill. You have a left shot rapid fire and a right shot slow but larger or damaging weapon. You have several shots that you can fire before your weapon depletes and starts doing single shot fire or you can just wait for your ammo to replenish at which point you'll be firing again. You have effectively infinite ammo at the moment. Ah, I missed my jump. So I'm now flying midair. I'm going to strafe around these two. Helps you get out. Okay, and try and reattach myself back to the surface. There we go. Okay, we can move a bit more freely now. Okay, there are two drone spawners in the middle of the world up here. I suggest we move closer to them on that uh, block. Okay, I'm going to launch myself over. And it looks like there's a place we can hide inside as well. So that, uh, oh, yeah, I thought so. There's two, two of them on me, on us. Ah, and I'm dead. So I'm going to respawn. It takes about seven seconds to spawn back in and you'll spawn close to other players. In this case, there's only one player I spawn close to Juliet. So again, we've almost taken this down now, and sadly, 
I've flown behind scenery. Okay, bouncing back in. Lots and lots and lots of drones now. Not sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to try and head back towards Juliet. Okay. So our team score up there is 178 right now. Um, that's our score minus the opposing team score. And we need to score a total of 400, which we might do. Um, I think uh, if we kill, if we destroy three of these drone spawners, I think we'll score that. I don't completely recall <laughs> what the setting for how many points you get for killing, for destroying a drone spawner is at the moment. Okay, I'm going to reattach myself to the surface. Uh, uh, she gets almost dead there, so I'm going to have to try and help her out. There. Oh, there's just too many of these creatures. Okay, that's, I think we need to take out the drone spawner. Stand a chance. Ah, I'm down again. So our score is very low. <laughs> but again, you don't need a total score of 400 to win. You just need to score a total of 400 points. Whichever side scores 400 points first wins. I need a better system of displaying the, the scores that'll come in the future releases. At the moment, we're just uh, trying to get rid of all of these uh, drones that are around us before we can tackle the spawner. I think uh, someone might have taken it out. So we can head on to the next one. Okay, yeah, yeah go for that one, go for that one. Ah, I'm been taken out again. I'm waiting to respawn. Right, so there's one drone spawner over there. There must be a close one, I think. Find Juliet. So as you can see, there's a green icon showing where your friends are, and you always we always display where other players are. But uh, to get a to find out where the drones are, you have to first of all hover your reticle over them, and then the system will remember and track them for a little while, which is useful when you uh, pop out, attack them, and then hide. So we really need to take down. Ah, oh, there we go. So we uh, won with a total score of 210, and time taken 438. So we're still all in the game. And uh, if we wanted to, we could just uh, carry on with the new game. So I'll do that. So we get back to the settings so we can change these. For example, I could go to the gameplay settings and decide that actually we're gonna have um, 16 friendly drones. And we're gonna put the, the, the win score to be something lower, say 100. And then I could start again and play again. And uh, okay, Julia's left, so she's joined back in. She didn't have to leave there. She could have just stayed in the game, and we she would have uh, uh, joined me automatically. But you can leave and rejoin at any point as well. Okay. So I'm not going to carry on with this now. I'll just uh, fly out and take some final shots of this drone spawner. Do give it a go. It's really easy to get into. Um, you can always set the, the wind score lower, you can set a fewer numbers of enemy drones and uh, larger numbers of friendly drones to help you out. Um, join in with your friends over a local area network for the moment. There we go. <laughs> and uh, enjoy. <laughs>